Hi, I'm Ray, and this is the Phone Arena Q&A. Ted Cord has sent us the following question. Ray, why did you claim the Note 3 screen maxed out at 300 nits, claiming it loses out to the iPhone 5S in this metric? Yet, DisplayMate measured it at over 600 nits, calling it the brightest smartphone screen ever. Well, we've tried to simulate the right conditions for the Note 3 to indeed achieve so many nits, but the most we can get out of it is about 380 nits. That said, the device does present us with very good outdoor visibility, which is even comparable to that of the best LCDs out there. It's probably not as good as the iPhone 5S in terms of outdoor visibility, but it's almost there. The question of Spider-Man 4 is... Hi Ray, what do you think the resolution of high-end 10-inch Android tablets in late 2014 will be, considering that some phones, tablets, is going to have 25, 60 by 1600? And I actually have no idea what phones you are referring to with such high resolution. But as far as tablets go, I'm willing to believe that most high-end ones will stick with something close to the resolution of the iPad or why not even the Nexus 10, which is 2560 by 1600 pixels. I don't think that even high-end tablets will go past this for the next year or so. I was actually a bit confused by the next question, which comes from user IJKLMNOP. And it goes like this. Do you think Sami will go full metal? Because no 3 is in its own leak in its design. It has leather back, squared edges, metallic sides. These make me think that this is design 3.0 of Sami. What you say, Ray? And I say that when we're discussing the Note 3's design, we have to point out that the back cover is not really leather, it is plastic that looks like leather. The metallic sides are not metal, they're plastic which looks like metal. And these are not uh, something new for Samsung. And considering this, um, it doesn't seem so likely to me that Samsung is going to go full metal with the uh, GS5. There are pretty vague rumors about this, I think, uh, but, it, but at this point I think we should just wait for the leaks to start appearing and we shouldn't have our hopes too high. The S2 wants to know. Hello Ray, a serious question here. How is the Snapdragon 800 processor in the Xperia Z Ultra different from the one on the Note 3? I read in a review that the one in the ZU is a high voltage, lower clocked one, whereas the Note 3 version is a higher clocked, low voltage version. How does these stack up against each other in terms of raw performance? And now, while I'm not completely sure that I understand what you're saying perfectly, I don't really think that there could be such a difference between the two Snapdragon 800 processors used by the Z Ultra and the Note 3. Both have exactly the same quad-core Crate 400 CPUs and the only difference is that the one in the Note 3 is clocked at 2.3 GHz while the one in the Z Ultra is clocked at 2.2 GHz. This is a very minor difference and it's unlikely that it'll have a visible impact on the performance. It might also have a barely visible impact on battery life, but all in all, um, I think there are other factors which would have a much more major uh, impact on your perceived system performance and battery life. I think both are about the same in terms of raw power. Vishu9 is interested in the speaker of the G2. Hey Ray! Multiple reviews, including yours of the LG G2, say that its speakers are weaker compared to the other flagships. I've been considering buying it for the apparently awesome camera and the fresh design. Can you tell me if the speakers are really that bad compared to older flagships like, say, the S3? I'm an audiophile and even though I use both headphones for the music, I would like the G2 to be loud enough for some casual music and especially ring loud enough during incoming calls. Thanks. Well, it's not so bad. It's a bit weaker than some other high-end smartphones, but it's not disturbingly weak. Its quality is nothing to write home about, but it's by no means that bad. If you really like the phone and its other features, the loudspeaker shouldn't really break the deal for you, because it's good for casual stuff.
So that was all for today's episode of the Phone Arena Q&A. Be sure to post your questions below for next time or in our Q&A post at phonearena.com.